I'm Kevin Coleman with the Sato Post, and I am catching up on a, a briefing of the um, tourism banquet. I got preoccupied with the uh, Model T Jamboree, mm -hmm. so I'm with Melody Young, the executive director of the Ross Chillicothe Convention Visitors Bureau, and she's going to give a uh, an overview of the event back on Tuesday. Monday. 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 Yes. I can't figure out what day it is. <laughs> So this is an annual event that the uh, CVB puts on. Yes, this was our ninth year. So uh, the awards are actually made up of people who really go beyond their day-to-day -day job duties and really give an experience to our visitors. So we do four different awards. We do um, a frontline award. So that's someone who comes face-to-face -face with the public um, whether they're working at a restaurant or a shop downtown or a local hotel. So this year's award winner was Suzanne Toth. She is the manager of Kindly, which is in uh, Fort Collective there on Mulberry Street. Mulberry and Second. Mm -hmm. So part of her nomination was how um, customers just go over are just thrilled how she really pays you know attention to them and helps them pick out things and then she also rescues cats in her after hours so um, she's just got a very loving heart and really shows hospitality and then the second award we do is for a behind the scenes worker and this is someone who still creates a visitor experience but the visitor might not come in direct contact with them so this year's winner was Lee Krause, who um, is the behind the scenes director at the outdoor drama Tecumseh. So he helps not just the actors navigate how to find things while they're here for their summer, but also helps other staff and patrons learn things to do while they're here visiting Ross County. Um, we also do a volunteer of the year. So that's someone who is not paid to do any services, uh, but volunteers their time for our community. And that person this year was Teresa Reap, and she gives so much of her time, not just to Daughters of American Revolution and the Shine On group. She also helps Friends of Hopewell. She just, you're always going to find her doing something for our community. Um, and I've spoken with her several times to get uh, news stories and previews. Yes, and she's also heading up our America's 250, which will be celebrated in 2026. And then our um, last award is for Manager of the Year. So this is someone who manages employees, and usually it's a staff member of theirs that nominate that manager. And this year's winner was Katrina Horsley, who is the general manager of the Quality Inn. And talk about going over and beyond a job description. She had a guest staying at the hotel who was taken to the hospital and had a service dog with him. And Katrina reached out to his family to get permission and to find out the food brand. And she took care of that dog while that guest of theirs was in the hospital. So to talk about, like again, going over and beyond your normal job duties. I don't think anything under GM says you're also going to be <laughs> taking care of pets day and night. So her and her husband actually came in and did that for the guest. And the winners aren't necessarily from the hotels or the events. It's anyone who touches on anyone tourism industry. Anyone who touches tourism. And anyone can nominate anyone. We always open nominations the first part of the year. So... If the public's out and someone gives them excellent service, you know, while they're eating, while they're being waited on, while they're at a candy store, if they're downtown seeing someone watering flowers, anyone can be nominated. We really want to showcase our community and what all these folks really do for us. And then the Grand Pineapple every year is actually decided here in our office and with our board of directors. And it can be a person, a, uh, a group of people, an organization, or a business that really goes over and beyond for our community and partners well with us 
So this year's 2024 Grand Pineapple is Hopewell Ceremonial Earthworks um, and our NPS partners. So not only are they great partners of ours and have been for many, many years, but they have changed our future of Ross County going forward with the Road Heritage inscription this year. And we're already seeing impacts. We from are that. already seeing impacts on that. We've got uh, international travelers coming in already. We've seen international travelers. We've seen, I think, 12 states represented in the month of um, April that actually stopped in our office that was heading out that direction. So. And at the event, you also announced the uh, Promotional Assistant uh -huh. Grant Award recipients. Uh -huh. So we uh, allocate $20,000 to help organizations, profit or nonprofit, with events they're bringing into Ross County to help from a promotion and marketing standpoint. So we had $81,000 of request, $20,000 to give. So mm. we were able to spread that $20,000 across 12 different organizations this year. And I already interviewed one of them, the uh, uh, Sido Valley, Sido River Tees. Uh, the Model Tees. So yeah. they'll be coming here Labor Day weekend for their annual conference. So it's a statewide conference. So expect to see a lot of Model Tees out and about Labor Day weekend. And I made sure I talked to them because I had not heard of them, but I'd seen them briefly and uh -huh. wondered why are all these Model T's driving around? Well, nope. you're going to see a lot more of them that weekend. They're expecting about 200 cards to be in the area. 200. Okay, uh -huh. they had told me about 100. Yeah, so they sent me a revision Tuesday. So registration's ahead of schedule. Great. Any other uh, news from the event? I counted maybe 150 people in attendance. Right, we had about 150 there. Um, we hosted the event at the Christopher Conference Center, and Taylor Springer was our caterer. Um, like I said, we just, we always want to, we had 36 nominations this year. So that tells you how many people really go over and beyond every day. And that's only going to increase with the... Uh, the World Heritage Tourism Inspiring Things. <laughs> we sure hope so. <laughs> Any other thoughts on uh, what's happening in the... Uh... Hopefully everyone's seeing our signs up and about as you're driving through town. So we've got about 42 of our 88 signs up at this point. So continue to watch and tag us in those posts as you see signs going up around the community. And there's one even in front of your office there here. There is. Can't miss us now. All right. And how can people learn more? Uh, you can always visit our website at visitchillicotheohio.com or always give us a call at the office Monday through Friday, 830 to 5, 740 Ross. And you also have a Facebook page. We do, uh, Ross Chillicothe Visitors Bureau. Do you have uh, photos and listings from the uh, Pineapple banquet? Awards? We sure do. All right, we can look that up. All right, Melody Young, Executive Director of the Ross Chillicothe Convention and Visitors Bureau, thank you. Thank you.